It's kind of a photograph. It's, I mean, I see it as a, as a picture. I don't really make such a huge distinction between uh, photograph or painting. I mean, I see that people make, have been making pictures for approximately 30,000 years and 150 years ago the photographic process was added to that vocabulary and I use photography to make pictures, a lot of them with camera and a lot of them without camera, um, purely using light in the dark room. The brain seeing this picture, realizing it is photographic, um, adds reality to it and that's why it's important to me that it's not painted um, because a painting you would always see as uh, as only the intention of the of the painter whereas this has some connection to the reality of, of, of um, the world uh, even though it's not depicting anything. I like this um, um, almost paradox of having a very large, high impact, strong picture, which then in its, uh, in its physical presence is actually very fragile. That is really very much like everything we hold dear is, is, is usually also quite fragile no? and can change status very abruptly. In the subtitle of the British art show, In the Days of the Comet, it's after a book where the comet um, leaves a green gas behind. And uh, so when I proposed this piece to um, Lisa and Tom, they were really happy. But I hadn't actually read, uh, read the book or known that. So for them, they, they see there's also um, something utopian in that, um, which fits the show very well. This is a um, project called Truth Study Center, which I began in 2005. In the past decade, I've found myself bewildered by uh, the emergence of, um, of um, lots of different voices claiming absolute truth. And those were issues that I felt um, I couldn't address in photographs only. I, I felt uh, often the materials that I was reading, newspapers um, or, or um, signs outside, uh, objects I collected, printed matter, um, were speaking more eloquently about what I felt. And I designed these table installations where I um, put all this all these different voices down, uh, grouped usually ar around subject matter. There is sense and nonsense uh, in, and, and also humor in this. You know? So I'm not replacing all these multi voices uh, with one authoritarian voice uh, myself, but uh, there is also quite a concern. I feel concerned about the time we're in. I think by being aware of how we are bombarded with these different claims all the time, a clearer perspective maybe emerges. Really my work does circle around um, observation and study of, of what, what, one can, what one can see and also uh, when something becomes observable. Uh, when does social societal phenomenon become gather or gather critical mass and becomes uh, noticeable? I wanted to connect the two issues together. No? That this, which is um, requires work, is somehow connected to this, which which has has I mean gives instant uh, pleasure, but it's also not a it's not really a. Um, completely, it's not an easy picture, no, it, is, it is quite a dark picture. I mean, there isn't just a uh, struggle, there, there, is also, um, there is also contemplation, um, and they can happen side by side. <laughs>